Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny for those first timers. Today I will be doing a makeup look with affordable makeup products. Most of them are drugstores and others are, I guess you can consider them drugstore makeup, but you would have to purchase it through their website and not at the actual drugstore. Anywho, please keep on watching if you're interested in learning how I created this look. Your Pops Ooh La La palette. We're gonna go in that shade Soft Core. This one here. A really big fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to blend that all over my lid I'm taking the my little pony palette again from color Papa and I'm taking this shade here this one is in flutter by flutter by and then also sky dancer this one here and just putting that all over my crease um, and it's looking nice, it's looking good, but we're trying to go a little bit darker, you know what I mean? These cute AF palette from Colourpop, we haven't got along in the past. As you can see, it's a little dirty. I tried cleaning it, but homegirl don't really like me, so it's fine. I'm going to add this brown here in the shade Mischief. I just keep blending it out with that same brush that I applied the first shade with. Um, look how dark that is. Look at my face, girl. So I went ahead and bought some lighter shades. Um, without even swatching them, I just bought them online and I was like, hoping for the best. So I'll probably have to mix these two. I have 112 in Natural Ivory and then I have 120 in Classic Ivory. So. I don't know if you can see the difference, but I put on natural ivory first, which is this shade here, my nose, and then on the right hand side and this one, and then I put the classic ivory shade just on in the middle. So I'm, I'm feeling like the classic ivory shade looks a little more neutral, probably even a little more pink. I'm going to mix them. And then the classic ivory, this one, it's looking a little more yellow, like more gold toned. We'll just go ahead and blendy. And to set my face, of course, I'm going to use the air spun. I can't flip it around because I'm, you know, and to contour, I'm using the shop um, from Shop Miss A, which is the AOA Studio Sculpt Fix. These are these are one dollar on shopmissa.com. I like to curve it up a little bit. I actually got this Pro Contour Pro Fusion palette. It's so old, look at it. I got this at TJ Maxx. And here's the contour shade. I'm going to go in this shade here. And I just like to blend it upward. From Juvia's Place, the Saharan Blush Palette. This is the number two, B. I used to apply the color on my crease here. I know I mixed so many different shades, but I just took the same brush and I just blended it out down here. So basically whatever was left over on the brush. And then I really like the brown that I ended up using up there, this brush. And I'm just putting a little more down here just to darken it up a bit. It's a cute, cute AF palette, the Yes Please palette. Put that right along my lash line. Blend it out. can't choose but I kind of feel like we should just go with this shade tickled here
for highlight, I'm taking this pink goddess highlighter, big highlighter from JCat Beauty. I haven't used this in so long, so we'll see how bright it really is. Okay, girl. Yep, yep. Just a tiny bit. Oh, it looks a little too dark up there. You see that? It's a little too dark for me, so it looks kind of muddy. It's fine, girl. I ain't going nowhere. Okay, so I bought these lashes on AliExpress, and these are in G817. So these were only $2 and something. Um, they're super cheap. So again, that's G817. Comes with a pack of five, and they're the ones that I have on now. Mascara, I'm using L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara. And then just lightly go over these falsies. Last thing we're doing now is lips. So I'm actually just going to use a lip liner and then gloss over. I'm going to use the NYX lip liner in neutral. I'm sorry, this is peekaboo. Peekaboo neutral. I'm digging it but I also kind of wanted to go a little bit darker so I'm going to go over this with prune from NYX okay I kind of like how that looks I'm going to top it off with this lip oil from NYX that I'm super duper in love with so I really really like lip oils especially because they just look so much more glossier you know than regular lip gloss so I use it all the time perfect like after you use a lip scrub and you know you really want to keep your lips moisturized i think lip oils are the perfect way to go this one is in sheer berry this foundation i've never personally used it um, on myself i used it on other people and they've told me that it looks great at the end of the day that it has stayed on all that good stuff but I'm noticing that it's really, really drying my face. I know that it's super stay matte, so I guess that makes sense that it's drying. But I already have some of it like peel off right here on my nose. Do you see where it's red already? And it's only been like 30 minutes that I've been wearing it. I don't know. Full face of affordable makeup video. Um, I can post where I got all of the things down below. This was my finished look. I hope that you guys like, subscribe, and comment. And follow me on my other social media, which I will be posting down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.